my name's Brandon Lane, and I'm going to teach you how to receive Eddystone URL signals. So, first things first, you need a beacon. This is a Gymtot USB beacon, and this is already pre-programmed to be broadcasting an Eddystone URL. I have programmed that. I will have a separate video showing you how to program it, but for the sake of this video, I'm concerned about this guy. So, on my iPhone, I already have Google Chrome installed. All right, so that is one of the required things that you need. Um, there is another app called Physical Web that you can also use, but I'm gonna start out with Google Chrome and then I'm gonna show you Physical Web. So when you hear people say there's no need for an app, they're talking about that there's no need for every business to build an app like there used to be. It used to be you want to send out beacon signals, you know, and have that transmit something to your customers, give them an experience. You need to build an app in order to communicate with that beacon. Now you can do it right here on any phone with Google Chrome or a physical web app. So let's get started on how to enable Google Chrome to read these URL signals. So you go down to your today, you know, your today widget, you know, and you see these. So you see the edit, click that, see all of your options. There's Chrome. So hit Chrome, comes back up here. Done. Now, see that right there? It is scanning for physical web objects. You can disable this, you can enable this, scanning right there. It's now ready for this one. Pop that in there. Now, physical web is on. Give it a little refresh there. And bam, there it is. Click that, opens in Google Chrome. Perfect, All right? So, that's one way to do it. Now, for the second way, Download this right here. Physical web. Get right in the app store. Pop that open. Same thing, except this one opens in Safari. But this app right here, physical web, is also how you can program a beacon and you just and that's where you input what URL you want that beacon to go to. So this is a very good app to have. If you have your own beacons, it's also a very good app to have if you're just searching for beacons. Alright? So it's that simple. That's how you set up, you know, your phone to receive Eddystone URLs. My name is Brandon Lane, and this video was powered by Paskett.